Street Fighter is one of the big three when it comes to fighting games, with the others being Mortal Kombat and Smash Bros, and they all have their main player, the star if you will. Super Smash Bros has Mario, Mortal Kombat has, well, a tie between Scorpion and Sub-Zero, but Ryu takes the cake when it comes to Street Fighter. He might even take the cake when it comes to all video games as a whole. He has truly been able to make his mark in the world of gaming, and so I decided not only to teach you how you could be like him in real life, but to literally teach you how to do some of his moves that he does in the games. So if you like the sound of that, then sit back, relax, and comment which fighting game you think is your favorite. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing a is in a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Today we are going and adding Mortal Kombat to the list of series that we're breaking down here on the care here on the channel, I can't speak today. If you've been paying attention, we've done Wolverine, Avatar, and even the Ninja Turtles. And so, let's break down the real life version of Ryu. And it, while you're here, if you could like this video, that would be cool. You don't have to, but if you're here, I'm just reminding those that might forget. But who is Ryu exactly? Well, we are not gonna spend a ton of time on his origin, but we do need to know a little bit about his character and who we're going to become, or at least who we're going to imitate. As many origin stories go, he was orphaned at a young age because all the best main characters are orphans. If you think I'm wrong, just look at Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, Goku, Naruto, Harry Potter, I mean even Luke Skywalker is more or less an orphan. I mean his, his father's not dead, but you know. But unlike those other guys, he was taken in by a martial arts master who trained him to be a martial artist. Well, I, now that I think about it, it's not totally unlike all of those other guys, but I digress. Throughout the series, Ryu seeks to test and improve his skills by entering various fighting tournaments, which is when the games take place. Now, in universe, his fighting style revolves around the assassin fist style, and that's where he gets his projectile sacks like the Hadouken, Hadouken, which has been ingrained into not only video game culture, but culture, at least American culture as a whole. And the Shoryuken uppercut, which has gained a similar status. <laughs> However, in real life, his fighting style is going to be a mix of Shotokan and Hapkido. Shotokan being a popular style of karate that was developed in the early 20th century, emphasizing strong linear techniques and powerful strikes. And its main focus was on practical self-defense. And this style uses all kinds of techniques to do that thing. Uses its hands, its feet, its knees, its elbows, shins, all kinds of things. They basically, if it's a part of your body, the Shotokan uses it to strike. And as you would think, that makes it quite well round as far as striking martial arts goes. So we are going to spend half our time training Shotokan Karate. However, the other half we're going to spend in Hapkido. Hapkido is a Korean martial art that focuses on self-defense just like uh, Shotokan does, even coming from a similar time period, that being the early 20th century. However, with Hapkido, we're going to also get joint locks, throws, and grappling techniques, making it a great partner to Shotokan. And in this style, this is where we're going to get all of those circular motions that you see many of Ryu's moves do. So, now that we know what to learn, let's get into his actual moves. All right, so let's get to Ryu's combination. Now, this is just one of his many combinations. However, it does have some of his signature moves, so let's get to it. First, I want to explain something, the Hadouken. We do use kind of two Hadoukens in this uh, combination, and so I want to explain we're not going to get chi powers. I'm not expecting you to get chi powers. And if you do, please let me know how, but I haven't figured that out. And so instead, what we're going to be doing is a double palm strike with our Hadouken. It's going to be not quite as small. We're going to spread it out, striking with the palms or the bottoms of our palms of both hands, with one going to the solar plex or the weak point in your chest. This will cause someone's diaphragm to be uh, impacted and make them lose their breath. 
The second hand will go to our the bridge of our, uh, not the bridge of our nose, but right above our upper lip, right here where your mustache would be. Um, this will cause their eyes to water, their teeth to possibly break out, uh, and a, uh, a broken nose, all of which are really good for us. They give us a good advantage. So as we go through the combination, uh, if we do one of those things, just know that's what we're actually doing when we do that strike. Now, for the combination, it's going to look like this. And it's um, quite a complex one if you look at it. We're gonna take out that front flip in the beginning um, because to make it just more feasible for more people. But this is what we're going to do, so let's get started. To start off, we're gonna be in a nice wide stance with our right foot in the back and our left foot in the front just because that's the side that we're on. We're just gonna do it this way and I feel like that's going to be easier anyway. We're gonna start off with a Superman punch. Basically means we're gonna kick that right leg up, hop forward as we kick back, we punch out all the way through. It will look bang, just like that. So again, the leg comes up as we hop forward and kicks out as we punch forward. One more time, right leg, bang. We start off with our Superman punch landing in the same kind of stance that we were back here. We're just a little bit farther forward. Next, we're gonna be doing a, uh, a front kick to an ax kick that comes straight up the middle and then straight back down with our right leg for both. This will require a lot of flexibility to do perfectly, but it's gonna be with our right leg coming up and down. This hits to the chin, ideally uh, going on the way up and the sternum on the way down with your heel. Uh, uh, the ball of your foot hitting the chin, bang, and the heel hitting the sternum on the way down. As we set it down, we're gonna let it slide all the way back, and this is our first Hadouken, where we strike, again, to the, to the uh, solar plex and to the mustache level. So far, we have our Superman punch coming down, right leg up, down, pull back, strike. From here, we have our left hand do an uppercut going into the uh, the gut or the, the solar plex area, still striking those important targets because Ryu is trained and so we wanna make sure we're hitting uh, vital targets. And with our right hand coming through, this leads us up to our one more Hadouken. Shoryuken. Man, that's a fun move to do, but we're not doing it today. So we're gonna continue. From the beginning, we have our Superman punch. One, two, three, four, five, wind up, six. And that is our combination. I'm gonna see if I can do it all the way through so I can do maybe do it side by side or something like that. Here we go. <laughs> and so now hopefully you're already starting to feel like Ryu himself. And if you're wanting a target to hit, like a bag or something like that, definitely check out the links in one of the corners because you can get a, uh, a kicking bag shipped directly to your house with a discount code NINJA10 if you buy it from Sentry. It's just there if you like. If you don't need one, that's fine. I'm just saying it's there if you like. But let's continue. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Truly means the world to me. So let me know what other Street Fighter characters you would like to see me cover because I need some help narrowing down the list. It is truly, truly, truly a long list. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but lift off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to